The Center for Democratic Development has commended INEC over improvement in the electoral process judging from the last election in Ekiti State. The CDD Elections Analysis Center says it deployed 300 trained accredited observers who are collecting uh, data for key aspects of the day's voting and uh, voting related processes to determine uh, through evidence based analysis the credibility of the ongoing process. It, however, commended the Independent National Electoral Commission uh, for some improvements noticed after the just concluded equity election. Data from the CDVAC observers indicate that 97% of INEC officials had arrived at their polling unit by 8.30 a.m. It further shows that 79% of INEC pool officials addressed voters before the 8.30 a.m. Official, official time of polling opening, of pool opening. CDDAC data indicates that in at least, at least 92% 90, of polling units observed critical election materials like ballot papers, biometric voter accreditation system beavers, devices, resource sheets, ballot boxes, and the voter register were available for the conduct of the election, a marked improvement over the 83% recorded in Ikiti State. CDDAC notes that the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, took some steps to address some of the gaps identified in Nikita State's governorship election last month. INEC has embedded officials of the National Union of Road Transport Workers, NURW, in the INEC situation room in Oshoko to help address issues around development of personnel and movement of voting materials to mislead voters or to possibly depress the vote in areas in which the political opposition is perceived to have, to have some strength. The CDAC fact-checkers have also documented claims and counter-claims by political actors over allegations of vote buying. Using online tools and a range of verification techniques, CDAC fact-checkers have been working to independently fact-check online and offline misinformation capable of undermining voter confidence. One of the major fake news stories, which began trending as voters headed to the polls this morning, is the claim that the, peop the People's Democratic Party PDP candidate, Ademola Adeniki, had been sacked by a court. CDDAC fact checkers also spotted a claim that one of the major opposition parties party's candidate was asking voters to swear an oath that voters voted for him before he would pay them. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.